Primitive culture researches into the development of mythology, philosophy, religion, language, art, and custom is a seminal work by Edward Burnett Tyler, first published in 1871. Tyler, often considered the father of cultural anthropology, introduces the concept of culture as a complex whole, which includes knowledge, belief, art, morals, law, custom, and any other capabilities and habits acquired by mankind as a member of society. Tyler's work is rooted in the evolutionary theories of his time and seeks to understand the development of human societies through a comparative framework. In Primitive Culture, Tyler addresses the common psychological and intellectual characteristics of humans, arguing that there is a shared underlying similarity in the minds of all people, regardless of the sophistication of their societies. This idea leads him to propose a theory of cultural evolution, where societies progress from primitive to civilized states. He classifies cultures based on technology, social institutions, and beliefs, and illustrates how they move from simple to more complex systems through a process of development and diffusion. Tyler employs the term animism to describe the earliest form of religion, asserting that primitive peoples, attempting to understand the world around them, imbue inanimate objects and natural phenomena with spiritual life or anima. He views animism as a natural product of deep reflection by early humans on the nature of life and death, dreams and trances, which then manifest in beliefs that spirits inhabit all forms of life and matter. According to Tyler, myth and ritual are essential aspects of culture which also evolve. Myths, for Tyler, are a way for primitive societies to explain natural occurrences, and over time they develop into the complex religious systems of modern societies. He sees rituals as practices that are initially based on a logical or empirical idea, but persist even after the original context is forgotten thus becoming purely symbolic. Language, in Tyler's perspective, similarly evolves from basic communication systems to complex languages with vast vocabularies and sophisticated grammatical structures. He discusses the relationship between language and culture, emphasizing the role language plays in the continuity and development of civilizations. Language, Tyler argues, is a powerful tool for preserving traditions and transferring cultural knowledge across generations. Tyler also explores the realm of art within cultures, suggesting that the aesthetic sensibilities of individuals are shaped by their societal contexts. He asserts that art evolves from simple decorative art in the form of body painting or basic pottery designs to the elaborate art forms found in advanced societies. These art forms serve not only a decorative or aesthetic role, but also communicate significant cultural symbols and stories. Concerning customs, Tyler examines how practices deemed rational in primitive cultures can be regarded as superstitious or irrational in more advanced societies. He introduces the concept of survivals, which refers to cultural elements that have outlasted the conditions under which they developed. These vestiges of earlier cultural stages persist in modern settings, though they have often lost their original meanings and functions. He employs survivals to explain the presence of seemingly inexplicable customs in contemporary cultures, arguing that they offer a window into the past. Tyler's work emphasizes the importance of comparative analysis in understanding human cultures. He uses data and artifacts from various societies around the world to build a case for his theories. His method includes comparing myths, customs, religious practices, and languages from disparate groups to identify similar patterns and deduce the evolutionary pathways of culture. He also discusses the concept of diffusion, which is the spread of cultural elements from one society to another. This occurs not only through direct contact, but also independently, as different societies arrive at similar technological or social solutions due to facing analogous circumstances. He is careful to note, however, that not all cultures will inevitably pass through the same developmental stages or reach the same level of complexity. Furthermore, Tyler criticizes what he views as ethnocentric biases of his contemporaries who judged other cultures by the standards of European civilization. He advocates for the relativistic view that each culture should be understood in its own right and on its own terms, although he does subscribe to a hierarchical valuation of cultures from primitive to civilized. Primitive culture, 
had a profound impact on the field of anthropology and the social sciences more broadly. Tyler's theories influenced subsequent generations of anthropologists who further developed and, in some cases, critiqued his concepts. The idea of cultural evolution with its linear progression from primitive to advanced stages was later challenged by many who argued against such unidirectional and hierarchical schema. Tyler's work laid foundational concepts for cultural anthropology, particularly in his view of culture as a complex and integrated system and through his use of comparative methodology. His proposal of animism as the earliest form of religious life provided a starting point for the anthropological study of religion, and his concept of survivals enabled scholars to trace the historical development of cultural practices. In summary, in primitive culture, Edward Burnett Tyler systematically articulates a theory of cultural evolution. He presents a vision of human societies progressing from a simple primitive state to complex civilized forms. His use of comparative methods to study myths, religions, languages, and customs across diverse cultures helped to establish anthropology as an empirical science. Tyler's work reflects the intellectual milieu of its time, characterized by a faith in progress and rationalism, and contributes to the understanding of culture as both integrated and malleable over time. Despite subsequent criticism and the development of new anthropological theories, primitive culture remains a significant historical text marking the roots of anthropological thought and the study of human cultural diversity.